Hi guys, it's Mark Zickby, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickby of Space Command. And uh, I'm going to be updating you about a number of things in this video. Uh, a lot is happening, a lot of exciting stuff. And, um, and, and just kind of also talking about some odds and ends just because uh, they're odd and they're ends and here they are. So uh, it was very funny. Last night I was uh, in bed. It was 10.39 and the phone rings and it's Tom Danheiser, the producer of Coast to Coast. And he says, oh, you're one of the few people I could ask this of, but do you think you could be on the air for an hour and... 20 minutes and so I said sure of course so uh, so last night I was on coast to coast uh, for uh, between 11 and, and midnight my time and just talking with George Nori about uh, Space Command and Twilight Zone and all sorts of stuff and and taking calls and it was great fun so if you uh, can access the uh, coast to coast uh, uh, archive, go there, and you can listen to George and um, myself talking for an hour and uh, it's always a great fun time and uh, meanwhile um, we were talking about someone someone on the last video when I was doing the history of science fiction and we will be doing the, ne the next installment of that in the next few days uh, someone noticed a magazine cover behind me and they said is that Werner Herzog well no it isn't and I'll get to who it actually is but um, some of you know that um, that my major in college w at UCLA was painting sculpture and graphic arts uh, because as a kid I was drawing and writing and painting and doing all sorts of stuff so first of all I went into my shed to find some of the sliders material I'm gonna be doing some audio commentaries on my sliders episodes shortly and I came upon this which I drew, I think, when I was maybe eight, seven or eight. And this, if you can see it, it's a spaceship. Look at this. It's a, it's a big, gigantic spaceship, and it says Space Force on it. And that at the bottom is a human being, so that's the scale, that little tiny thing that looks like an ant. But, it, but there I am, drawing spaceships as a kid, and uh, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool United States of America. This, of course, was during the space race. And then... Um, I uh, also in, in the shed came upon something where uh, when I was a, a student at UCLA, an art student, and I got my bachelor's in that, by the way, uh, there was an ad on the job board. Someone was going to be doing a film, and they wanted an artist who could do, who could uh, draw in the Flash Gordon style, is what the ad said. So I um, uh, dashed off several drawings, and we were talking about Alex Raymond and Flash Gordon in the history of, of science fiction film uh, the other day. So I found this, and this is... Ming the Merciless, pen and ink, and there's the color version. There we are. You see it? And I drew this, and the color version is what I sent in, and along with some other drawings of Flash Gordon, but, uh, but this was the one I kept, and that's an original uh, pen and ink. And, uh, uh, and I didn't get the job. They hi and instead, they hired another guy who uh, deserved it better, and that movie was called The Star Wars. And, uh, and the man who they hired was the, 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 went on to become the major designer on the first three Star Wars films, Ralph McQuarrie. And uh, so I can't feel too embittered about that. And then finally, uh, once I got out of college, I was a reader of the magazine of fantasy and science fiction. And they used to publish uh, special authors' issues of, of the magazine. For instance, I'll show you one here is uh, the one they did on Ray Bradbury. And they had ones on Harlan Ellison and uh, Theodore, Theodore Sturgeon. I loved the, and Ray signed this, of course, for me. But this is uh, the cover. So I had great ambitions and great dreams. So for fun, when I was around 22 or so, before I even had this career as a writer really uh, going full steam, uh, I painted my own cover of, with myself, the special Mark Zickry issue. Uh, and that I painted this uh, by hand, of course. And, uh, and it says, Special Mark Zickry issue, four new stories plus an article and a teleplay by Mark Scott Zickry. And I was already writing the Twilight Zone Companion, so you can see the Twilight Zone style clock. And there's an alien and a planet very much influenced by Kelly Frias. And then on the back, it has another one of my paintings that you can see a little bit of, and then an ad, a fake ad for uh, the books that I would have written. Uh, Mark, it says, Mark Scott Zickry, Nightmares and Pleasantries. And some of these books, one is The Making of the Twilight Zone, which became The Twilight Zone Companion. The other titles are Victims, Empty Rooms, The Einstein War, Dark Corners, The Blood Under the Door, uh, Shadows in the Dark, A Touch of the Creature, which is a Charles Beaumont title, Dimension of Killers, Diary in Invisible Ink, and Below the Cement. And you could have ordered those all for two fifty each, and uh, so probably I should write these and, and sell them. But, uh, but that, and, and it's funny because I sent a photo of this to the magazine of fantasy and science fiction, and they actually published uh, a photo of this in their letters column. So 
pretty fun, pretty fun. So, uh, so no, it wasn't Warren, Werner Herzog. It was me, me. I used to have a mustache, and uh, so that's that. That's fun, you know. And I'm, I'm I always talk about wanting to get back to uh, to drawing and painting and sculpting and all of that. And of course, my visual sense, I get to exercise in all of the design stuff that we're doing on Space Command. So, um, so speaking of which. Uh, many of you know that we uh, had a Kickstarter campaign in June. We raised uh, $86,000, of which I cleared about 70000 after all the expenses and fees were taken out. And uh, so that's enough where I've hired Dave Edison, our editor, full-time for, for the next few months, and my assistant, Angelique, and who's also in, in Space Command as an actor. We shot one of her scenes, and uh, my, my co-producer, uh, David Bartlett, and... Uh, and, and uh, wrote a check for uh, Eric Rodriguez to, con to really ramp up building our sets and creatures for, uh, for Space Command Forgiveness to film the rest of it. And so we're now cranking along with visual effects. We also have several visual effects artists working full time. So we're cranking along, finishing the first two hours, finishing the 40 minutes of forgiveness, then ramping up to shoot in October. We're gonna have to raise more money uh, to really roll camera. So, uh, so if any of you have been in, uh, thinking of buying Space Command shares, uh, 7,500 bucks each, it really would help in terms of, of what we're up to because I wanna also continue, go right into uh, shooting uh, Great Solar War and, and the, all the other episodes of the, the 12 hours of the first season while we're pitching to Netflix and Amazon and Apple and all, all those guys and building credibility and building fan base and audience and um, it's you know because it's going great and uh, Gigi Edgeley of course will be in Space Command coming up Christina Moses who's on a million little things uh, Armin Shimmerman Ethan Phillips uh, the JG Hertzler on and on and um, you know so and I'm I've started conversations with uh, Jonathan Frakes and you know, Brent Spiner and, and on you know I mean just uh, the Gates McFadden Nana visitor uh, all these people I want to I want to work with again and uh, uh, so, so there'll be uh, many announcements to come, but the more money we take in, the faster we can get stuff shot, built and shot. And um, also, uh, so, so I'll just kind of <clears throat> jump around a bit, tell you where everything's going. The Space Command comic book is being drawn. We're going to start selling issue one, which has been printed. And then uh, uh, Tahani Farr, the wonderful artist that uh, designed, that did the art in the first issue, is uh, continuing to, to draw the entire graphic novel prequel which we'll also be doing as a radio play so i've been getting the pencil sketches they look terrific and we'll continue uh, publishing the comic book with all sorts of articles and and that story and then we'll bundle it as a graphic novel uh in the days to come uh, additionally maya bonhoff is you know completing the uh, space command novel and we're going to be reaching out to all of you to see who would like to have a space command dvd or a space command blu-ray or just downloadable content so this is sort of what the uh the blu-ray will look like more or less, and uh, uh, and we're already editing together and choosing the extras, which will include alternative visual effects shots, alternative scenes, deleted scenes, um, uh, all sorts of stuff, auditions, um, you name it. It's going to be really cool, and uh, plus, of course, audio commentaries, and. Uh, but, uh, and then beyond that, um, we're writing more of Space Command, more of Great Solar War, more of uh, the other episodes, just moving forward, getting it all nailed down so we can really, um, you know, get stuff shot, get stuff made. And uh, it's very exciting. Additionally, uh, we announced the two winners of the Name the Creature contest. Uh, so the, the name of the creature, the official name is um, Pissara, which has a historical reference uh, to a, a a population on an island that was wiped out and since these creatures are refugees it you know makes sense and and spiny cat monkey is the slang term which I really like too and uh, we'll be writing all that into the scripts um, we've also cast um, uh, one of our actors uh, LVN to play the prophet and that's terrific she's wonderful and uh, and will will be just great in the uh, in the episode and uh, beyond that, we're going to be shortly announcing the winner of the spacesuit contest, and we're going to be having another phase for all those people who want to build spacesuits but didn't hear about the contest in time. We're going to have a second phase where people can, and it's uh, and the and the uh, the judges will be quite remarkable, and your work will be seen by amazing people, and everyone who enters will get credited as a spacesuit maker, and it's just going to be um, wonderful. And then of course there's a futuristic car competition that I'll be talking about very very shortly, and um, so there's tons of cool stuff coming down the pike and uh, and then beyond that uh, we're um, 
you know, continuing to write in, you know, walk-on roles and things like that that people can do. There's the Patreon account that you can, you know, pledge some, some money to if you want to keep us going. If you're a fan of something I've done in my past, you can actually pledge Patreon where you can get some things from, you know, some of the shows I've, I've written for, Smurfs or He-Man or, you know, you name it. I just found my outline for uh, Far Beyond the Stars in, in my shed, so now I have that at hand. And uh, so it's pretty hilarious. And then meantime, of course, um, I'm creating, um, starting to work on new series uh, that I'm creating with Rock Neil Bannon of Farscape and Sequest and uh, Defiance and uh, Mark Ferguson, Hawk Ostby, another show I'm creating with them. And they, of course, run and develop for television The Expanse and wrote Children of Men and Iron Man. And uh, it's the, the showrunners network I've talked about a little bit. And, um, and then Elaine and I are writing a book called Greenlighting Yourself. So, so Space Command is my major project. It's what um, keeps me um, uh, awake nights and, and working through the day. Uh, there isn't a day goes by that I'm not working on Space Command. And David Edis Edison and I have been uh, covering a lot of ground in terms of the editing, just tweaking things, making them better, making them stronger, uh, getting them ready to, to get to you. And, um, and uh, I'm, you know, it's so much fun to share all of this stuff. Uh, and just, you know, when I get a vi visual effect shot that I love or, or a creature design or an alien spaceship design or, you know, write a new piece of dialogue or something like that, it's just, um, you know, it's neat. And, and uh, Comic-Con is coming up. We're going to have a... Uh, we won't have a booth this year because we're putting the money toward, toward post-production and prep, but um, we will have a panel on Friday uh, and a, uh, we'll screen some footage and we'll um, also have a signing. And so if you're going to be at Comic-Con, it's Friday at noon, so check it out. You'll, uh, you'll love it. And uh, so that's some of it. You know, I know it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but um, uh, mainly I'm just very grateful to be doing this and it's a, it's a thrill to be working on all of this. And, uh, you know, I couldn't have a better cast, a better crew, better partners. Um, and it's great fun to work with Elena, of course. And um, so that's the major stuff. Um, in terms of Netflix and all of those guys, you know, uh, Elaine's doing the, the Lord Peter Hain project in England, uh, and we're producers on that. She's written a wonderful two-hour script, a, a screenplay. But now there's a lot of um, encouragement to do it as a miniseries, so we're starting to look toward that, and, uh, and we're going to walk that into Netflix uh, sooner rather than later, so we'll see what happens. But again, if we, anything that we're doing that cracks open one of these doors cracks open opportunity for Space Command. You know, it's, uh, it's a very um, interesting game, the television game, but, uh, but I'm so glad that I'm actually shooting the show, I'm actually making the show, and that's not uh, smoke and mirrors, and I'm very glad to be doing that. So, um, so that's about it for now. If there's something you want me to talk about on Mr. Sci-Fi, if you want to um, you know, s s send some questions or suggestions, if you want to be part of Space Command, we also, by the way, in, in addition to having cameos where people can come on the set and have like an on-screen cameo or walk on, we also have a new uh, thing we're offering where you can pay, I think it's 3,500, something like that, and you can get, uh, you can be on screen like in a visual, in a like a, a video screen or something like that, where where we can see your image, uh, e even if you can't come to Los Angeles. And of course, we're going to have the Space Command convention, the the screening at the Chinese Theater, all sorts of stuff coming up in in the days and months uh, ahead. So, so that's about it for now. More to come, lots more to talk about, and um, talk to you soon. Bye, guys.